Hi, Mass Ways, Mrs. Talbot. Hi, Mass Ways, Mrs. Sperry. We're here to have a mindful Mass Way moment with you. Today, we're going to talk about flexibility. flexibility. It's a fun word to say. And when you think about flexibility, you probably think about things that are bendy, things that move easily, like Gumby over there. He is super flexible. So things can be flexible and bodies can be flexible, but that's not the way we're gonna talk about flexibility today. We're gonna to talk about it in a different way. We're talking about being flexible in your brain, flexible in your thinking, because that's really important for learning and for just getting through day to day. So when we talk about being flexible in our brain, can you adapt to change? If the plans change, can you go with the flow? That's what we're talking about taking somebody else's perspective, thinking about things in a different way you never did before, being able to shift from what's important one minute to what might be important the next time, or what somebody else might think is important is different from what you think is important. Can you shift between those things? How about your attention and focus? Can you be shift focused on something and shift to something else? Can you get ready when your parents ask you to, when you really love building those Legos, can you shift and be flexible in your thinking? That's what we're asking you about. And when you do that, that means you are a really good problem solver. So the more you practice being flexible with your thinking, the better you can solve problems. Also, you want to be flexible with rules. Rules change sometimes. And right now with this new way of learning, the rules are a little bit different. So being able to adjust to new rules and being flexible with those also helps and makes you a better problem solver. So when we're talking about flexible, there's another word we talk about, which is being rigid. That means not being flexible. And sometimes there are some rules or some things we're asked to do that are pretty set and pretty rigid. And right now you guys are all experiencing some of those. Like we're being pretty rigid about you have to wash your hands, right? And wash them for 20 seconds. We're also being flex rigid about the idea that we have to stay six feet apart, right? And that's for everyone's health. And we're also not able to go to school right now. That's the rigid rule right now that we can't be together at school. But all of those things are rigid because it needs to be safe and healthy for all of us. But what we're challenging you guys to do is how can you be more flexible at home? Yeah. So how are you gonna be flexible at home? What about changing the rules to a game? Think about Connect Four. Try Connecting Six instead. What if you play Uno? Usually you deal seven cards out for each player. Try dealing eight, nine, or ten. So be creative in your games and the rules and think about ways you can do them differently. Also, do you sit at the same place at the dinner table? Try sitting at a different spot. What is that like? Do it for breakfast and lunch too. What do you notice? Does it feel weird? If you practice those things, it'll help you be more flexible. So be creative and come up with some ideas. All right. Bye, Master Bye, Master Bay. Bay. We'll see you again see you soon. Later. Bye. Bye.